so here's the situation i know i didn't explain it right i wish i could have recorded the situation but i'm not sure they're recording status cellular status inside the headquarters of columbus police department it's september 26 2018 it is 3 58 p.m uh i did an fcc basic kind of try to question complaint but i was right now i'm fatigued by walking up here should have thought it out a little more but they told me cell phone jamming the electronic jamming itself I was telling them, you know, blackouts, problems with laptops, everything that I had, DVR, security DVRs, all that. Um, they tell me that they don't have, there's no division for that, even though I think there might be, but some of them don't understand there might be. If not, 100% said it's a federal crime. So here's a number to the FBI office here, Columbus, Ohio, that would deal with that. How would they deal with that? I don't know. What kind of evidence do I have? Why, how the hell am I supposed to build evidence without your type of technology, your investigation techniques? What do you hold liable as, or reliable as evidence? Besides noticing blackouts, security alarm system hacks, device failures, two cell phones failing at the same time, bars on the cell phone bouncing up and down. What more do you need me to tell you? Do I have to buy my own oscillator? Because, <laughs> like I've been telling everybody else, if I'm going to do the work of detective myself, then I'm going to do the punishment myself. So, with that being said, huh? but I do believe the weird ass deal is, is there's police involvement with that. And they're jamming electronics. What law or right that's in any type of situation has the rights to restrict me from my electronics. Beats the hell out of me. You know, you know, huh? I do know, I do know. It was a problem even in New York, DC. It's misconduct on their behalf. If not, the officers involved, just like Arizona 2002, are you associated with community crime? Are you utilizing a device while on patrol, jamming shit, interfering with shit, manipulating and having fun with it, associated with the rest of the community. Ah, 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 ah. There's a whole situation with that, but anyways. So that's how you take care of that. Like I said, within the next year, I will be recording everything that I do to figure out, even though I am unstable as shit, and that's one of the reasons, stalking cyber crimes uh all the rest and the big boy shit and all the rest and uh, excuse the lingo there for the shit word but hopefully you understand i'm describing the crap that goes on anyways with that being said it's multi-state how can you tell me say they're profiling but you can't profile these other incidences going on multi-state shit doesn't work does it anyways we'll cut this video short and uh leave it at that like i said the sidewalk i just came off of was police department that's what they gave me told me to contact them and explain my situation which is a good thing i can record the phone call and when i get to record the phone calls um i'll be able to produce those on the internet too We'll figure out if Columbus, Ohio is not corrupted or misconducted or completely ignorant to a supposed international situation, which New York City, New York, Interpol, let's see, I do believe I've had run-ins with their agents, just brief bump-ins on the sidewalk. Why the hell do you need Interpol in the United States for? Uh, shit like that. That'd be... I'm expressing an escalation, a higher power involved with shit. Some of that was deal with uh, crimes in New York City, organized crimes, dealing with electronics. So, I don't know. The height and the side can go for now. Anyways, post this video as a bunch of rambling blah blah. But as I said and what I've been saying for the last few months, I'm recording everything 
posting it to the internet and let's see what happens to myself there's no crimes against or criminal charges against me right now there's supposedly while i'm talking to other systems they would have to have paperwork in the system to be able to authoritate and authorize the shit that they're doing um they're not going to let a criminal know he's a criminal and wanted we're under investigation but their practices only can last so long if they're even allowed to practice those techniques but i'm not blaming just the police because now you got black market devices that they should be able to detect it was explained in new york city they should have the police that are around should have already understood there's something else going on and should be able to pull in enough power to say hey we can stop this or do i have to go back to new york city just so i can prove the incident out there to bring proof back here to get anything down out here but there are a bunch of people that are not suited not in vehicles within a couple of block radiuses with community control trying to play thug down but they're also trying to play that law enforcement gave them the rights to do it so at and i'm over here and while i'm recording this that type of you need your mom and dad out here type of shit enforcing social authoritative verbalization it's organized stalking when people and i talk to people i don't have the paperwork from the past <laughs> i don't have to believe that it's going on i concrete solidly know it's going on it was already busted elsewhere some of the shit happening even with electronics was investigated and there's situations in different cities that was busted elsewhere there is an incident where i was having electronical problems with my phone traveling on the highway and they brought out a device they couldn't pinpoint where the jammer was coming from but 100 percent my cell phone was non-usable not even to call 911. i talked to a person that was passing by got them to stop ask them to call 911 if their cell phone's not jammed and messed up theirs wasn't until i stepped next to them but they got down the road and that's how i contacted the police um there's also a call box i believe on the side of the road but anyways uh, so let's go ahead and see what happens when my phone's black out dvr is not record stuff motion detections on the external cameras of the house is messed with laser lights being pointed into those cameras from the uh, gentleman across the street that's in a business shop but living there residentially and one of the suspectable people this gentleman's name was mentioned in new york city uh of being the perpetrator or at least a perpetrator because if you got multitudes of devices and it's scattered out organizedly. He's not the only one to be doing it. He'd be more like a director. But it's not just him. It's a mixed up situation, which was explained to me in 2002 how severe it was. Basically, cartel, organized criminal, it's close to human trafficking type of techniques that they use with people. Businesses and everything else. got a phone call coming in from a place that I've already recorded not to call me anymore that's another thing my whole family in the last two months even though my family's toxic and a part of the situation now they're having problems and supposedly that they're having these prank calls and shit happen to them so there goes another situation of saying I'm not the only one while somebody else is using the presence that their affiliated law enforcement, their affiliated government, and on top, they're thugging with the shit that they're doing. So that's fine, let's go. I don't wanna be the one that has to prove it personally, like I said. My punishment's going to be different than what the system gives you. And uh, 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 did I threaten? Probably not. As I was talking to mental health here in Columbus, Ohio about some of these situations, that was seven years ago. They're life threatening socially because it's ending social life. Just like everybody else is saying, hey, there's problems. See, like I said, I know concrete 
that I have that situation going on. I don't need to doubt it. I don't need to think. I don't know how to prove it. Well, not here in Columbus, I don't know how, but it's happened elsewhere. And there is mass law enforcement involved with that. I'm not the one that came up with the ideal, oh, well, this is what it is. They're the ones that briefed me with that situation. So, anyways, a lot of rambling. Should have just kept it short and sweet. But yeah, already, even while walking down the street, which what I would think is the associations of all the people that's traveling around stalking, one contacts another in a call center that they know, friends and family type of situation does happen. That person bugs the other person with a legitimate sales call but technically it ain't legitimate. It's still making contact through the network itself, which was also being investigated in the past. Some was busted, some wasn't. Some didn't even just come down to me, but multitudes of other people. So anyhow, I'm going to end this video, and I say that in all my videos, due to electronic jamming trying to validate that I got a right to utilize record audio video anything else much less utilize and save information on certain topics even to a laptop computer it's not just recording so uh, DVR footage type of shit um, that being said yeah I'm gonna end this video and that's what happens when you go to the local police department here and I won't say try, I'm not saying that I was given bad information, even though I've been told that's bad information, that they do have a bureau or a division inside that agency that deals with electronics. FCC keeps referring me to the police. FBI referred me back to local police. I'm gonna already state that. I've already called the FBI, just see what they do. Because these other guys are enacting with their law enforcement authorization that they're undercover FBI. So am I being given a network runaround by knowing what I'm doing daily, eavesdropping on me daily, wiretapping? I make the phone call. You know I made the phone call, so I'm given misinformation. Also going to crack down on government network shit. I'm not just going to say gang stalking. And I don't mean just the regular, what everybody else, gang stalking is just a gang of people. Literally gangsters mob styled which was already proven in the past mob organizational shit but anyways i'm gonna crack down on the government situation and let's see what i do even in stable what kind of help that i can get and hopefully somebody else can understand and get the same help elsewhere or no wherever i get the help at is a kind of a safe haven type of people that are being targeted that feel that they're in danger and maybe show up into that situation and try to get help from that system anyways end in this video and that'll be that for september 26 2018 what time is it 4 11 p.m press stop on this